the pseudo lobby does not know where to look. Fact is that they are ashamed about what is going on in Bangladesh. They are not ashamed because Hindus are being targeted. They are not ashamed because Hindu homes are being burnt, because Hindus are being tortured. They are ashamed because in the process, the people of India, the people of Bharat have seen through their America-sponsored attempt to destabilize India. The American deep state written Destabilize India playbook, their cheap and dirty toolkit to divide and burn India has been exposed in the process before the people of India. When we see what's happening in Bangladesh, we know even before they start their toolkit in India that the American plan to create anarchy across India is in motion. Viewers, they can use fake farmers, watch out in the future, they will use caste war proponents, they will use the Tukre Tukre gang, they will use the Hindenburg machinery, they will use the NGO Soros gang, they will even use the radical fundamentalists who want to Shaheen Bagh at every street corner. But we will immediately know this time that the Indian Mir Jafars and their American masters are in motion. Will America ever allow such open foreign interference on their soil? No. When it comes to defending American interests, they won't allow anyone. They call themselves democratic. They will not even allow Russia Today TV to be played out on their cable networks. And even the slightest whiff of questioning the White House or of public disorder invites an extreme reaction in America in which their police forces kill without provocation. But in India, these same people, they sponsor every group and every political party, every failed author, every failed actor and every failed politician who can help them destabilize Bharat, destabilize our country. So today let's say in one voice to Rahul Gandhi and to the Americans, to Rahul Gandhi and to the Americans, that we will not allow the kind of madness and anarchy that has happened in Dhaka on our soil. Sheikh Hasina has exposed the Americans today completely. She has revealed that because the Americans wanted a military base in Bangladesh, St. Martin's Island, and because she would not allow it, they tore apart her country to take revenge on her. Now when Hindus are being killed, what is American stooge Muhammad Yunus doing? In one month, viewers, Bangladesh has gone from being a dynamic global economy to a dud economy, which will be totally dependent on America to survive. Which is why, let us say clearly, that no Rahul Gandhi and no Uncle Sam. We will not allow this in India. The script of the farmers' protest and Shaheen Bagh is the exact script that the Americans used to burn Bangladesh. Narendra Modi is a stumbling block for American hegemony. The Americans do not like the fact that Narendra Modi stares them back and negotiates on equal terms. The Americans instead want a puppet ruler in India who they put in office by bringing in anarchy and chaos, if necessary, bloodshed. They already have someone who is begging them to intervene. Which Indian political leader is begging the Americans to intervene in India? Do you want an elected prime minister who runs a strong government? Or do you want an American puppet in India who subverts the Indian electoral process to become the genie at American's command? This is a battle for Indian sovereignty now. Nothing less. Please make sure that this video reaches the most people possible. Our country is under attack. What is covert now may become overt later. It is for us to fight back.